mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. It is Friday, the 8th day of April 2011. I'm Alex Jones, your host. We're going to be live here for at least the next three hours today. And obviously the news and information is only accelerating and intensifying and getting more and more frantic as the global financial system is purposefully imploded so that the private banking parasitical cartels can establish even greater hegemonic control over the once free peoples of planet Earth. Bruce Fine, the lawyer uh, who is uh, hailed by Ron Paul and others as a, a great patriot, uh, has been circulating on Capitol Hill to the House and Senate articles of impeachment uh, proving clear impeachable offenses against Barry Sotero, a.k.a. Barack Obama. And a lot of presidents have engaged in impeachable offenses. Nixon stepped down before it was fully carried out. Clinton was impeached in the House, but it was dropped uh, in the trial in the Senate. But there's no doubt that we need to impeach Barry Sotero. And we're going to be breaking that down with Bruce um, Fine joining us coming up in the next hour. And then, of course, our once a week visit with Bob Chapman. We'll have open phones for that uh, in the third hour today. Headline, GOP lawyer drafts Obama impeachment circulating it on the Hill. You saw that in the news a few days ago. We have him joining us coming up. Very excited about that. Good job, the producers, for getting him on in such a uh, timely fashion today. Obviously, we have uh, the U.S. and world politics issues, the health issues, the incredible police state news we're going to be breaking down today, the latest in the Middle East. Uh, we have the government shutdown that I'm going to talk some about today, set to take place now, today. Uh, it's just more political theater. And, uh, of course, there's all the tapes circulating of Democrats saying, hey, we're going to have a shutdown and we're going to blame it on the Republicans. Uh, clearly, uh, we do have to cut the size of government. The nation is bankrupt. My issue is, though... The Republicans are predictably, except for Ron Paul, Rand Paul, and a few others, uh, trying to rearrange deck chairs on the deck of the Titanic because the types of cuts they're talking about do not change the structure itself of the private Federal Reserve and the debt black hole uh, of uh, exponential uh, fractional reserve banking debt that cannot be escaped. Uh, when, when a fractional reserve banking Ponzi scheme is initiated, it always ends. And the people that design it build it this way uh, with more debt being created than there is actual wealth. Simply put, for a dollar to be created, debt is created. That's monetarism. That's debt slavery instead of the currency being a symbol of energy that is simply exchanged amongst the citizenry and businesses as a symbol of energy for commerce to to simply uh, try to make commerce easier. And then credit is used as an engine to empower the individual and to empower development and competition. This system is a crony capitalist, anti-free market, insider system and when we come back, I want to get into the fact that I off and on for two hours listen to Bloomberg Radio this morning on XM. I normally listen about 20 minutes in the morning when I have time, then skip around on other AM and FM channels and other XM channels. But today I listened uh, off and on for two hours because they're somewhere very special. They're at Bretton Woods in New Hampshire with George Soros, and they were talking about the world government they're setting up. And they had a train of guests coming through the studio. And I want to I talk about that when we come back. It's the only reportage I've seen on it. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. 
Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at fivestarsoap.com or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it. Once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calbin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? As founder and owner for over 63 years, satisfaction is guaranteed or double your dirt back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit our website, 5starsoap.com. Thank you. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Thank you for joining us. It is Friday, the 8th day of April 2011. We have constitutional lawyer Bruce Fine joining us. He's the uh, lawyer who comes highly recommended by Congressman Ron Paul. And he is circulating the impeachment articles on Capitol Hill. And we're going to go over some of the uh, constitutional evidence to impeach Barry Sotaro, a.k.a. Barack Obama. Also, we're seeing Donald Trump now in many polls in New Hampshire and other key states with the Republican primary uh, coming up here uh, in the uh, medium future. They start these campaigns earlier and earlier now, being number two. Uh, Ron Paul in many polls is number two or number one. But Donald Trump, uh, I think, is doing all this for a publicity stunt for his show, The Apprentice. Uh, and he says he'll announce one way or the other. Uh, right after the finale of the season. And I personally don't think that Donald Trump is going to run. I think this is a publicity stunt. And uh, Ron Paul obviously is a million times better than Donald Trump. But Donald Trump is not stupid. And uh, he knows which way the wind's blowing. And you notice his numbers have spiked since he started talking about Obama not showing his birth certificate. I don't know if Obama was born in Hawaii or Kenya. They certainly are trying to cover something up in Kenya and arresting people, detaining people like Dr. Jerome Corsi when he goes there to investigate. But I do know he gave up his citizenship to become an Indonesian citizen and change his name to Barry Sotero. And I do know that no other president has sealed their records 
like Obama has. Hillary tried to keep her records sealed when they finally came out two years ago. It had her thesis uh, for a Ph.D. calling for Marxism. And Marxism is a bad thing, ladies and gentlemen. These are very violent, dangerous people. Uh, obviously, uh, she's not the, the garden variety Marxist, the uh, useful idiot. Uh, she's the type that understands that the big banking cartels financed Marxism as a way to rob the middle class, transfer the wealth to government that then transfers it offshore uh, to the globalist. Speaking of violence, uh, one of the main socialist leaders in the U.S., and I'm going to get to this later in the third hour with Bob Chapman, has put out a video talking about how great violence is against the government. Uh, and you notice MSNBC and others tried to blame myself, Ron Paul and others, for the Gifford shooting, for a man dressed up in a G-string, uh, shaving all the hair off his body, running around with a gun, uh, who was taking hallucinogens every day and who'd been a big Democrat previously, but we got the blame for that. Uh, and um, there's just constant violence out of what you'd call liberals. Uh, but these people are not liberals. Uh, they are basically just the cannon fodder for the banksters. And they're too stupid to understand that. It's like a few months ago when they had Democratic Party operatives publicly financed uh, by uh, Soros and others go in and protest and take over a Bank of America uh, via a union that has you know, total support for Obama that was also involved. And they demanded not that the bankers take a haircut, not that we write off uh, the uh, thousand plus trillion in derivatives, not that we get Glass-Steagall back, uh, not that we restore the republic, not that we get rid of fractional reserve banking, but that we raise taxes uh, I've, I've, I've seen the numbers, even the Washington Post reported on these. If you took all the money of the wealthy in the United States uh, who aren't offshore, it's only about a trillion, 100 billion. And uh, that wouldn't pay off, again, a fraction of the thousand plus trillion. The Washington Post says it's 640 something trillion. Webster Tarpley says it's 1.5 quadrillion. That was a year ago. Other big economists say over 1,000 trillion. Whatever, 640-something, 1.5 quadrillion, whether it's 1,500 trillion or 600-something trillion, it doesn't matter. And that's the big issue here. And what I want to get into now before I get into the government shutdown and a really creepy uh, article uh, here in the news today, IRS awards $4.5 to a whistleblower who reported to the IRS that their employer was not paying income taxes or was cheating them. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the IRS has announced and is now beginning to hand out cash awards uh, for employees spying on their employers. And this is the pure Stasi society. Now, when Wachovia and Wells Fargo get caught in a two-year period, uh, laundering 370 plus billion dollars in drug money out of Mexico and Wachovia, the subsidiary of uh, Wells Fargo. And Wells Fargo said they admit they weren't doing proper oversight and they're sorry. And uh, they didn't get any trouble and uh, neither did Wachovia. They just had to pay a hundred million dollar. It was a hundred million and change. I think it was one hundred and one million dollars. You can pull up those articles. Uh, London Guardian, uh, Bloomberg, AP of all. First Bloomberg three months ago. Now, last week, it's been in uh, a few other newspapers. But the issue here is that 370 plus, what was it, 376 billion uh, laundered a $100 million fine. That's a pretty good deal. You make hundreds of billions and then you pay a tiny fraction of it. What is 101 million out of 376 billion? Do we have a calculator? Can one of you? Uh, divide that out uh, and uh, see what that comes to, um, 101 million. What percentage of 376 billion is that? That'd be like if I robbed a bank and I was running out with uh, a wheelbarrow with a million dollars in it and the cops walked over and said, listen, you could pay me a $1,000 fine right now on that million uh, you're stealing and we're going to let you go. Well, then I would rob banks every day if I was immoral because I'd go in, I'd st steal the million at gunpoint, 
hypothetically, I'd come out with the wheelbarrow of a million, be loading it in, in, in wheelbarrows in the back of a van. The cops pull up and they walk over and they say, Mr. Jones, um, you've been really bad. Uh, I want that thousand dollars. That's about the equivalent of a one hundred and one million dollar. Uh, it's point oh three percent. So it's point oh three percent. They paid a fine of point. What was it? Point oh three percent. 